In the last video, I demonstrated how you can create these type of 2D games in Unity in what I called an easy mode. And the idea behind the easy mode is basically using a collection of super units that help you out to make these type of games. So if you haven't seen the previous video, be sure to check it out because in that video, I show how it works. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys what I was doing for the past week. I told you guys in the previous video that I'm going to try creating a 3D game using the same approach. And this is exactly what I was doing for the past week. So here's my progress so you can check out what I have achieved and get some feedback from you guys and you can tell me what you think. There's lots of different things that I tried here and I'll try to show all of them. But here is the basic character movement. So this character right here is using a rigid body, but I also tried out using a character controller as well. So on the left is the one with the character controller and in the middle is the one with the rigid body. So the idea is to leave you guys with the freedom of choosing which one you want, the rigid body or the character controller, but still have them working the same. So that's what I have right now for character control. And let's take a look at the character's functionality. So right now you can see that the character is carrying a tool and he can drop that tool and pick up another tool he wants. So that was just me testing out different tools. Now, right here, I have a test ground, and this is where I tested some of the mechanics that I was making. So right here is a moving platform, and it works so you can jump off it and walk on it. And that was one of the requests that were made in the previous video. And right here, I have some resources that I can mine. When you break the rock, you get some resources. And also the same thing for a tree. So you can chop the tree down and get some wood from that tree. It's time you use these blocks to get on this uh, test platform. That's another feature that I tested. And another mechanic that was requested is this type of building mechanic. So I tried implementing it as well. So you can build your walls, you can build your floor. Lots more work that I can do with it. But that's all I have for you in this video. Just a small update on uh, the project and how it's going. I'm going to continue working on this project and keep you guys up to date. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.